Hey people of the interwebs, it is Q with a follow up to our dive communications hand signals video and this time we're going to do communicating underwater at night using torches. So stay tuned. When I'm choosing a dive torch, there's a couple of questions I ask. How bright do I need it to be? And what functions do I need it to do? You really have to experience a night dive to appreciate how dark it really does get. So the first thing I ask is, how many lumens does the torch have? Here's a torch with 50 lumens. Here's a torch with 200 lumens. And here's a torch with 800 lumens. To appreciate the difference, here's the 50 lumens torch being completely obliterated by the 800 lumens torch. For safety reasons, I always choose a torch with high lumens because when you're on the surface, you want to be seen by the boat. And here you can see the signal to the dive boat saying, I'm okay. This signal directed at the boat means I need help. And this signal directed at the boat means I'm over here, I'm trying to attract your attention. The torch used in this example also has a strobe effect, which makes it easier to spot. The hand signals used at night are exactly the same as those used during the day. The only difference is you illuminate your hand with the torch. Just be mindful of how you're illuminating your hand because of the shadows cast by the torch and whether or not you're wearing gloves. A horizontal movement of your torch beam across your bodies will attract their attention. A vertical movement of your torch beam means I need help. The dials on your submersible pressure gauge and your compass are photoreactive, which means if you shine your torch on them for about 10 seconds, they really do glow in the dark. One final thing to remember is to never shine your torch into the face of a fellow diver. This will completely ruin their night vision and it can take a couple of minutes for them to get their vision back. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up down below, it really does help me out. And just before I go, here's Gordon's latest plan to scare the kids next Halloween. Thanks for watching and take it easy. <laughs>